Hello everyone, welcome back to the asynchronous programming in C Sharp. In the previous video, we have seen what is the synchronous programming and we have seen like what is the problem with the synchronous programming in the C Sharp. So in this video, we will see like what we use to overcome that synchronous programming in C Sharp. And we have seen in the previous video, like when we were doing an operation, like for an example to read some data and that data it takes some time with the synchronous programming it gives the bad user experience so to overcome this problem we have the asynchronous approach or we can say the asynchronous programming so in this asynchronous programming what we do at a time we can perform more than one operation since in the synchronous programming we can perform only one operation at a time but asynchronous programming is like more than one operation we can perform so asynchronous approach we create a separate thread which perform another operation at the same time and in asynchronous operation we can move to other tasks with the like before the previous one finishes so the approach if we take in the way of the asynchronous programming is give the better performance over the synchronous programming and even user feel the nice experience with respect to the UI if we talk about. So uh, in the next video we will see like how many patterns we have the for the asynchronous programming and in the modern time which pattern generally most of the uh, people are use or the company they use. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.